Let's see. 24, Chrono Trigger. Good. I wish it was higher. It deserves yeah. to be higher, but I mean. 23, the original Portal. 22, Street Fighter 2. Quick Central Fighting Game. 21, yeah. Super Mario Brothers. Surprise it's that low, but. 20, Ugh. Undertale. Another indie game. I'll put it in top 100, sure, but I don't know if I put it in the top 20. Yeah, top 20. Yeah. It's a neat little experiment, you know. You can fuck around with it, see, try to kill everything or not kill anything. It's fun, but I don't know if it's like one of the greatest games of all time material. Number 19, ah, Bloodborne. That's why the original Dark Souls is so low. Yeah. Fair enough. First all the great on this list. It's the greatest game of all time. It's what, evolved, what gaming has now evolved into. 18, the original Bioshock. I am upset I still have not played that game yet. I keep thinking of doing it. I gotta get to it at some point. Number 17, The Last of Us. You mean the rest of the top? Yeah, you were doing it. Yeah, not the rest of us this time. The number, actual last. Number 16, Witcher 3. 15, The Halo 2. 14, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. Oh, man. This is hell. Yeah. 13. Oh, wow. Hades. Damn. I mean, I really liked it, but 13 greatest game of all time. That... Mm. It's basically the quintessential Roguevania as far as I'm concerned. It is pretty fucking good, though. I can argue top 50 for it, sure. It is very fun. And there it is. Grab, grab the Dota 5 at 12. Number yeah. 11, Super Mario 3. Oh, that was another one of the big games from last year. Number 10, Disco Elysium. It's basically like some people refer to it as like one of those uh, pen and paper RPGs. Like D&D style? Yeah, it's like a really big like detective fiction story thing. Apparently, it's basically it's basically saying it's like probably some of the best like creative writing in video games. That's what's kept me curious about it. I might look at it someday. If it's about the creative writing aspect of it, I don't really care enough to warn Yeah, it. apparently it's like a really well done story. To my understanding. And I'll just look it up on YouTube if I feel like it. If I'm yeah. Bored. And it's a nice symmetric RPG. But it's not like battles and all that. It's more like exploration RPG, I guess. But yeah. That was one of the biggest games from last year. I know people really liked. And unfortunately, the developers have gotten some controversy this year because of some political thing with some of the uh, some of the developers, apparently. Uh, I just can't with the developer game. movement that has the same name as their company, oddly enough. Oh, wait. That's fire. God yeah, damn it. Weird. But yeah, apparently that's a really good game from last year, if you're ever curious. Number 9, Half-Life 2, of course. Number 8... Oh! Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, nah. I mean, Oof. I say here like I'm mad about it, but I haven't <laughs> even played the damn game. God. Number 7, Super Mario 64. The only 3D Mario game on this list. That feels like the biggest crime, honestly. Like, 64 revolutionized things, sure. But not to mention Galaxy 1 or 2 on the list at all is blasphemy. I mean, these people, you know how IGN yeah. is. They don't care yeah. about... There are certain genres that they're attuned to, but they just refuse to acknowledge yeah. it. All right. I'm going to take it. I'm gonna take five for a sure. little bit. Because right. I've been bashing my head against a, a burning <laughs> wall. <laughs> number, you know? six and is, it's number six is Mass Effect 2. Wow. You want me to take over? Yeah, sure. There's only five games right. left. Mass, Mass Effect 2, the best for some people in terms of its story. But I like it a lot. I don't know why I'd say it's like one of the greatest games of all time, but... Probably. I've heard some people argue that their gameplay kind of sucks in the second game compared to the first and third game. I think the gameplay is the best in the second game. The story is best in the first game. Number seven, Super Mario 64. Yeah, I'm actually going platform. down the list. Oh, that's yep, no one. <laughs> Super Metroid, quintessential Metroid game. Moving on. So my favorite 2D Metroid game. Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. One of the quintessential Legend of Zelda games. Moving on. Portal Two. At number three. I mean, some people really like that game. It's a great casual first-person shooter puzzle. I really like the game for what it is, too. I mean, I I will say Portal 2 is better It's than very Xbox. accessible. I mean, also, um, J.K. Simmons. You can never go wrong with him. Yep. yep. Number two, Mario World. Super Mario World, excuse me. Of course. Sorry. Please and don't throw one, my phone. Excuse me, Breath of the Wild. I re I re don't throw my phone. <laughs> your phone, I won't throw it, but Breath of the Wild. Some people will argue that's a quintessential Legend of Zelda game. I think it's nothing 
like a Legend of Zelda game, so fuck all of you. <laughs> okay, yeah. moving on. Anyways, how serious is the game looking at you guys? <laughs> yeah. yeah, fire is hot. I mean, it seems like they're going to be more in depth with the open world thing, so it could be good, but. I'm going to wait and see. It's probably what it is. Yeah, I got, I need I got more... burned really hard with uh, Breath of the Wild. I need, I, a, like I need a better impression. If yeah. they have actual dungeons, that will definitely entice me. I'm going to get it anyway, but just I'm like gonna I'm going to eventually out. get the new Pokemon game. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to wait it out. I heard horror stories about uh, violence, Scarlet, apparently. It's more of the technical issues. Apparently people have fun with the game, but it's the same problem a lot of them have been having. Game Freak's not given enough time to develop things and polish it, so it runs like ass. Yep. Thanks, Pokemon Company. Yep. Mm -hmm. some, and because of how poor it runs, people blame Game Freak, because it's like, oh, well, they're not a competent developer. Yeah, they outsourced the remakes of Diamond and Pearl remake. How did that turn out? Not great. Yeah. At least at first. Now it's serviceable. I say, they had to release an update months after the game to actually kick all the online gameplay, finally. Yeah, like at this point, it's just like, um... I don't really... I... If I wanted to play like a monster taming game at this point, I, there's a bunch of other games I can also try that are probably better. It's like the Yokai Watch series I haven't tried. Yeah, I've heard those ones are okay. The first one is like, okay. Yeah. I wasn't even urged to finish it. There's also, um... I think it was Cyberslip, was it? Ack! For Digimon that I wanted to try out. I have it on Steam, I just need to sit there right. and actually play I know it. apparently there's another big Digimon game coming out next year, too, that people are excited for. There was one for. that came out recently, I forget what it was called. That one was more was of a visual from... novel than an actual, like, yeah. RPG. Like I was Digimon. excited for that one, and then I heard it was a visual novel, and I just kind of yep. noped out. The marketing was very misleading. I was kind of pissed. Mm-hmm, yep. Once I saw reviews for it, I was just like, huh. And I was like, oh, why is the score low? Then I looked at some of the details, like, oh. Oh, God, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> no, Why is the D no, come into the fight with final form? <laughs> hey, out of nowhere, so uh, like, wait, what? Be coming. Wait, where the, who the fuck are these people? I don't remember these being here. I don't even know their fucking names. <laughs> God damn it! I have only I could. Doofy and Donald. Oh God! Damn it's it. Sora, Donald, Goofy. God damn it! <laughs> Oh god, it's still better when we looked at that one greatest King of Sora Hearts game list of words. Yep. And they said friggin' Sora Goofy Donald, you're gonna be hearing this a lot. You don't it's not gonna, You're saying it wrong! And you're a fan of the series. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no it just despite everyone, it's Goofy Donald than Sora. <laughs> or Goofy Sora than Donald. God damn it, keep not being a good spot there. Just to highlight just how fucking worthless Donald is. God damn it. Do not give me the attack I want from you, asshole. You first. Is it, how big a fan are you of the Kingdom Hearts series? Sora, Donald, Goofy. Okay, I know where your fandom is now. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you're a fan. <laughs> if you know that much. Uh, I was watching... Uh, I just subscribed to this one small channel. He's doing a bunch of... Um, um, stuff for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was what it was where it's like your, what your favorite um Kingdom Hearts character says about you. <laughs> I can't stop that freaking. You stand in between every uh each side of the argument so you can say that you're in the middle. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Freaking Kingdom Hearts. I like Axe's one where it's like you try saying a catchphrase today, it's oh! on. Everyone else just says has to stop. <laughs> Yep. Ah! I can't get him out of me! I keep fucking not being able to get him the reaction command. I keep not being close enough. I forgot how to dodge roll. I love that. Yeah, two hours. <laughs> it's only this guy. Oh god, that has been half of this! That's been half! <laughs> Fuck this, we're going to save this! <laughs> it's like you cannot leave until... Now I do imagine it's like an actual gate. It's like all twelve. It's like all twelve have to be active before you enter this guy. Damn it! They would make it this way. Why? Oh god, painful. Zenus is just laughing at your expense. Yep. Like man, I hated Axel too. But fuck, you can't even get through him. <laughs> man, I hate Axel too. He's an asshole. Freaking, freaking renegade. 
She's like the biggest traitor of the organization. I mean, come on. I mean, they kill an organization member in the last game. Yeah. It was an accident. He was caught in the crossfire. Why do I keep using the D-pad? What's wrong with me? God, I'm so stupid. Why do I keep using the D-pad? I think you've been playing too many retro games before coming here. God damn it. Right. Square is dodge. Square is dodge, idiot. Oh, I was dying. It's in a wall of fire. <laughs> I am rusty. Good lord. <laughs> I should have practiced my moves before I started. Maybe I should have just kept... Yeah, <laughs> why do you think I was standing there for like about half hour? Like about two minutes. And I keep going to the D-pad like some sort of moron. You want me to come back and do this? <laughs> Give me one more. <laughs> Unless Cove wants to take another crack at it. Um, now I'm good. <laughs> I'm finally having fun. But you were playing this game for so long! This has been the most fun for me. That way, I don't have to get through this torture. You guys do now! Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I missed the part where that's my problem. God damn it, you would. I need to think of something else to talk about. Oh, so uh, who's having a Dr. Oz is in part of Pennsylvania now? <laughs> Is there anything that you guys look forward to in terms of games or whatever? <laughs> Next year? Uh... I got enough. You know... Honestly? I didn't really think of much. Oh, God. I... Mm, I mean... I'm surprised there hasn't been a Mario game, like, mentioned at all since Odyssey. I mean... Sonic is anything to go by. So honestly, Sonic probably has it worse because congratulations, we spent five years just to get a game that's basically just bare bones. So that's more Sega than anything else. But it's a game with a great idea, but the execution still needs work. Yep. But because of how Sega is, and Sonic too, for that matter. Finally, fuck you! I almost hit X and said, I'm trying to go! Now, like I said, you were standing for like a split second. I'm like, if that, if that <laughs> fails, I'm going to laugh. Time to show off that what happens when this move fails. <laughs> you just see Sora face plant into the, into the uh, burning floor and die. <laughs> oh, God. Just like the Spider-Man 3 video game. <laughs> Spider-Man, help me! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Oh, it's one of the best failed freaking quick time events ever. Yeah. Just beautiful. Yeah. Of course, you got the fucking killer. Yep, that freaking figures. God damn it! One more. Fuck you. One. Oh god, I gotta fly! Oh, I'm dead. Got time to burn. Back! He got me a full combo! Okay, I'm good for now. <laughs> that was the best one I had, though. I had to remember how that worked. I was just annoyed because I had one attempt where he basically just didn't want to bother burning the floor, and I'm like, this could be the one, and then he's just like, nope. I'm almost tempted, though, to, like, see if, like, if he doesn't burn the floor, I have to make sure that he actually makes his eye. The floor's not burning anymore. The floor is no longer lava. Okay, yes. The oh, Metroid Dread! That was the one from last year! Yes! Oh yeah, Dread was last year. How can I forget? The six nominees for the Game of the Year awards last year were It Takes Two, which won. Resident Evil Village, which was better than seven, but still... If you didn't like seven, you're not gonna like eight. Yeah, I've heard it's at least better. Yeah, it looks alright. Psychonauts 2, I forgot I got nominated. That's another one. I, still I have, have Psychonauts 2. I'm going to I can play that at some point. Have you played Psychonauts 1 yet? Yes, I have. I okay. like it. Yeah, I, I definitely want to play that at some it's point. It's trippy. Too. Yeah, I heard it's trippy. But it's also a mine. It's, it's decent, also yeah. like, that's like Psychonauts the point of the game. Psychonauts 2 is basically Psychonauts 1, but gameplay's a little more refined. So that's good. That's probably Dread, which would be my game of the year from last year. But yeah. God, we were talking about that game so much. Deathloop. I heard mixed things about that. Game. It was like a weird take on roguelite, I want to say. What was it? You basically had like 
12 hours or whatever to do so, do stuff, and you had to like do your builds in different ways, you had to learn stuff from previous runs and all that. Some people really liked it, and others thought it was nothing special. And the other game, the only reason you'd want to get a PS5, Ratchet and Clank, ripped apart. Yep. Ripped Apart was a game I, if I want, if I got a PS5, that would be the game to get. Then there's also the new Spider-Man uh, and uh, Wolverine the new Spider game. Spider-Man Wolverine game coming, yep. That's only because, you know... I'm pretty sure, like, any other game that Sony has developed primarily for their console is only going to be a PS5 from this point forward, after Data Boy Ragnarok. I'm talking about Data Boy Ragnar Ragnarok. Data Boy, it's a rock. <laughs> what are the birth rocks here again? And that was last year. What was it for 2020 again? What one last year? Oh yeah, Hades. Yeah. The other ones were freaking Animal Crossing New Horizons, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Doom Eternal, and Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, and Last of Us Part Two. How could I forget about that? I didn't realize Ghost of Tsushima actually got nominated. Hey, I forgot Ghost of Tsushima came out. Then again, it's another open world game, so I'm kind of like, eh. I remember the second row one game of the year of 2019. So many people were like meaning about that. Oh god! It's not even the best Dark Souls game! This is a fun one. It's the frickin' it's frickin' dealing that one frickin' mushroom 13 all over again. And fittingly enough, wasn't it number eight that was the biggest pain in the ass? Yep. Oh, get a 75 aerial combo! <laughs> Pain. Oh, it was awful. Oh yeah. Wow, 2019. What a mixed bag of games for game of the year. Well, kind of. Control. Resident Evil 2 remake. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Sekiro, which won Death Stranding. And the Outer Worlds. Where are the Outer Worlds actually all right? Oh yeah, Obsidian had a game come out really recently on Xbox that's apparently like really freaking good. I forgot, like that's like arguably the best developer that freaking uh... I might give one more attempt and then I'm not sure if you guys are up for lunch or whatever, but you always want to get something. Or... <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys like this for over an hour! Just this one! I told you this was gonna be painful! <laughs> I knew this was gonna be the one! This is why this was my least favorite. This was why. I knew it was going to be painful. <laughs> if this is the thing that stops us from beating this game today, I'm going to be so mad. Yeah. It's like, I fucking knew it! The, iron the ironic thing might be, we might spend more time on this than Lingering Will. We might. You know? The gimmick makes this so hard! Yeah. You got so close two or three times that the gimmick stopped you from winning. There was that also, um, whatever happened. With a freaking um, Sonic Rave, but it's like, yeah. But he was—he was still in the fire thing. That's why it didn't work. Oh, that's right. Limit form did help you do a lot of damage. Oh, there's just one problem now. What? Can you not do it now? No, the counter. Oh right. Right, you don't have a lot of drive gauge now. No, that's not it. Oh! I have the gauge. What did, he, what did he do? He kicked you out of it? No, I kicked myself out of it. Oh, that. Okay. Oh, I see. You must have gone up to the ending of the drive instead of going to your limit moves. I see, I see. I actually did it on purpose because there was nothing I could really do. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right. I see, I see. All right. I'd rather have the magic when he's, you know, trying to roast me. That makes sense. Oh, right! So the move, I guess, would be to heal and then go into limit form and try to beat his ass. Yeah. If that's what you want to do. That was the plan. Oh, God. I was saying, try not to use those items so you can help it. You might want that for when we deal with... Zenith. I'm not going to use the item. That's the one thing I'll... I can see the game the year nominees for other years. If they have them. Get back! List of Game of the Year awards. Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild World in 2017. How can I forget it? Heal. 
Oh! They have the BAFTA game of the year. Oh god, I don't no, really no, no. For those. Check game of the year? No. Electronic Gaming Awards. That's the big one everybody loves. They had since 1979? Oh, that was an old thing. Okay. The Mitsu Awards, they love their Japanese games. The Game Awards, okay. 2014's winner was Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh yeah, the last of those good, really great Bioware games. 2015 was The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. 2016 was Overwatch. 2017 was Breath of the Wild. Number 18 was Dad of Boy. Game Developers Choice Awards. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Oh! Getting so close! Commit it to memory! Yep. Commit it to memory. That's right, every once in a while he does stop to say he got it memorized. I keep forgetting about that. Yes! Alright, you should be able to kill him! You know, I wanted to say something like this might be the attempt. It was like, watch, right before lunch, this is the attempt. And it fucking was! God damn it, my timing <laughs> is impeccable! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, good. Now is a good time to go out and get lunch. Yeah. Yep. We were working on that for probably an hour and 20 minutes. Was it worth it? Hour 10 minutes, either way. Jesus. Magic All for food. magic! Alright. Alright, well, well, oh yeah, we gotta go back and save first. Yeah, we probably should okay. definitely do that, please! For the love of God. Thank you, Koji, for fucking getting us through that mess. Yeah. yeah. Everybody gets one, dang. So that's and you get two! That just leaves debatably the hardest rematch, but I don't think after that it will look as hard as what we just went through. Yeah. And oh. then, the big match. Yep. Let's take five. As soon as I can... Why can I... Menu? Yeah, the star button. The star button's a little funky. Yeah, the star button's a little funky on that. Yeah, like, there you go. Okay. Ah, uh, hey, look. Magic boot. Yo, Tom, I know you can really use this, but... Hey, Goofy, you know, it's your lucky day! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just slipped. Hey, you're really using magic coins. Okay, you know, I got a peak, if you know. I've got magic spells and old magic. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, you have no idea how good it could be. I could be better mage than Donald. You know, the sad thing is, I probably believe that. Yeah. I don't have to use the right element at the right time. <laughs> like I said, I can actually believe that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so I'm clear! I gotta use lightning, right? Oh my god. 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 Oh, you got Axel, I gotta be new for Oh my god. Donald! That's not how it works! Fight fire with fire, right? Oh, oh my god, damn it! <laughs> That's all it needs! <laughs> Oh, God. Yep, the typical party of Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Two like, idiots and Goofy. Sora, Sora, Goofy, right. and Donald's unconscious body. Uh, yeah, that's all. All right, so that just leaves one final rematch. Yep, the king of them all. Yep. The biggest nobody, the rule of them all. No heart? We aren't there yet. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways. We'll be back. Take five. Time to get some lube, because it's time for man sex. <laughs> <laughs> uh.